everyone to Kier, hope you guys are doing well. And to be fully honest, over the last couple of months, I've really struggled to figure out what it is that I want to do later in life. And I'm nowhere near making that decision just yet, but I've kind of always known that I've wanted it to include engineering. After all, it's what I study at Berkeley and I've had the immense privilege of spending my summers working at tech companies as a software engineer. And before I started my internship at Tesla about a month and a half ago, I was kind of burnt out with everything, to be honest. I felt that engineering was becoming one of those crafts where people care just about the brand name and the company's prestige, as opposed to what they're actually working on. And I was uneasy about spending another summer coding for eight hours a day. But I'm about a month into my new internship at Tesla and I have to say that I feel like I love engineering again. It's restored my appreciation for why when I think used rightly, engineering can be a really powerful tool and I am so excited by everything that I'm learning on a daily basis and I really wanted to make a video about it and share my experience with all of you. So I guess a good place to start today is why I stopped liking or at least put my love for engineering on hold for a little bit. And it's not that I hated what I was learning Learning. I simply disliked the way in which it was being used for the world. Think of it this way. Engineering is this beautiful combination of math and science and technology, and instead of using it to help people live better lives, we've used it for the most part to sell ads and create gimmicky products for the world. And call me naive or unappreciative, but I didn't find that particularly fulfilling. And when you study these things and spend so many hours trying to learn all this material, and that's how we're using it. I didn't feel like this is how I wanted to spend the rest of my life or at least a large portion of my career on. But then I started my internship and everything slowly started to change. Now, while I cannot say that I particularly enjoy getting up early in the morning and coming home late at night, I can most definitely say that when I'm at work, I really feel like I'm contributing to something important. Not many in my eyes have climate change as an important world issue on their list and equally small numbers of people have moving to sustainable energy as one of their priorities. To work for a company then that makes this their only goal is one of the most humbling experiences that I've ever had. Thousands of people drive hundreds of miles, work super long hours, and willingly sign on for smaller salaries just so they can contribute to this mission, and it's one that I am so lucky and privileged to be a part of. Specifically, I work on diagnostics. One of the most interesting things about building cars is not only producing them, but also keeping them on the road. This means that whenever your car has a problem, it must be serviced and diagnosed as quickly and efficiently as possible. So wouldn't it be really cool if with the touch of a button you could automatically figure out what's wrong with the vehicle, schedule a service appointment, and then if you walk into a service tech shop, a technician can enter a few details, hit enter, figure out what's wrong, and then start repairs immediately? That's basically the stuff that my team works on, and although everyone else is so much smarter and more impressive than I am, I love being a part of it and I've been learning so much on a day-to-day -day basis. As you can probably imagine, with hundreds of thousands of data points and the cars constantly logging signals and alerts, you can use data analysis, machine learning, and general software engineering principles to create some pretty cool tools. Most importantly though, I love being given assignments that I feel are helping real people figure out what's wrong with something that's close to them, their families, and in a larger sense, the rest of the world. In the realm of computer science and engineering, you can do so much and you can change so much from nothing more than a laptop, and that's a really special feeling. I guess the only thing that would be more special then is when you're using it to help people live a better life. And that's what I think we should all be chasing when we choose our careers. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little shorter than my usual stuff, but nonetheless, I hope you found it entertaining or interesting or educating in some way. If you liked it, let me know down below. Consider following me on social media or subscribing to my newsletter, but most importantly, I will see you guys in the next one.